How's it going guys, this is Mouseball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and welcome to Motoring with Mouseball. And guys, today's video is more serious in tone than most. Now for those of you who have followed my YouTube channel and follow my community page, you know exactly what this video is about. Now, I work in a high risk environment Monday through Sunday. When I'm not jacking up cars or putting cars up on a lift or fixing cars or disassembling cars or pretty much doing anything that has high risk involved with it when it comes down to the internal combustion engine. I'm near fumes that basically could crystallize in your lungs and suffocate you. So everything I do is pretty much dangerous when it comes down to my actual occupation. Now, when it comes down to motorcycles, well, they're 28 times more dangerous than a car. And that's the reason why I want to talk about this book right here. This book, for the amount of money I spent on it, is worth three times as much in the fact that it'll save your life. Now, the Moto Jitsu drills that are in this book are laid out in actual belts, whether that be white belt, brown belt. I can show you guys right here. It's a very, very organized system and I'd expect as much from someone like Greg who actually authored this book. Now as you can see we have the white belt, blue belt, brown belt, black belt, coral belt, and red belt. And all these stages get progressively harder and require more experience and more skill as you perform the drills in this book. And obviously, I'm going to be a white belt for quite a long time because I know nothing about riding a motorcycle. But there's nothing wrong with that. I think Greg would be more proud of the fact that I am being real with myself and understanding my skill level and my extent in riding than if I were to jump up to a black belt or a red belt. That is what matters, is that... You shut up and you practice. And I'm gonna get the cones, I'm gonna lay out the drills in my parking lot, and I'm gonna do these drills. And this book is highly digestible. It has everything laid out to where it's easy to read and has an accompanying video with the actual drills. So if you're a, I have to see it to do it kind of person, well, no problem. If you're not the kind of person that wants to read, that's okay. The drills are laid out right here, right on the bottom of the page. So that way you can see exactly what Moto Jitsu, AKA Fast Eddie wants you to do. And as you progress from white belt to the higher belts, the drills just get harder and harder and harder. And chances are you're gonna drop your bike a lot. That's why I bought frame sliders for my bike. That's why I bought the necessary things to keep my bike in good shape. So that way when I do make mistakes, I don't feel bad about my motorcycle getting smashed or hurt. So this book, I highly recommend if you're going to ride a motorcycle. It can save your life. It can definitely make you that much more knowledgeable, make you stay more focused. And when you do finally get on the road, chances are you won't have a close call. Because like Greg said, I don't have close calls because I'm always prepared for stupid. And a lot of people may not like the way he comes across. A lot of people may feel that he's overrated, but as far as I'm concerned, this guy is my official mentor when it comes down to learning to ride because I'm gonna to prove to everybody that I will be 100% safe and 100% prepared when I get on this thing and I hit the road. And that my rides will be that much more enjoyable because I know I have the skills to avoid situations when they appear. And you can't control everything. Something could come at you at a moment's notice, but with the drills in the Moto Jitsu book, with the understanding of your motorcycle, regardless of whether it's 125 cc's or a thousand cc leader bike, at the end of the day, if you know your bike and if you know those drills, chances are you're not gonna end up in a Cadillac 
taking your last ride. And that's why I highly recommend buying this book. I don't have to sell you anything. You either want to buy it or you don't. Me, I chose to buy it because as a complete novice and someone who has never ridden a motorcycle, that book is going to help me pass the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course. And that book will probably end up making me an instructor if I choose to be an instructor at some point in time in my motorcycle career. All I know is, is that whether I'm going to be a safe rider or somebody who is just going to enjoy my bike for what it is and ride my own ride or if I'm going to be an actual instructor and help others learn how to ride because they might be complete novices to it. At the end of the day, I'm going to wear my gear all the time, every time. I'm going to read my Moto Jitsu book and do those drills and shut up and practice. And regardless of what you may think of the man, at the end of the day, he's no nonsense and he's about saving your life. So guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay wealthy. And remember, if you're not wearing your gear or your helmet, chances are you don't need to be on one of these. Take it easy, guys. Mouse ball out.